Okay, this is a walk around video of my 1964 Corvair Spider convertible. Factory turbocharged. This car underwent a rotisserie restoration from 2013 through 2017. The car has original Kelsey Hayes wire wheels that were restored by Dayton in Ohio. The car is painted in its original silver blue color. The interior is restored in black. The original color was actually light blue. That was just my personal preference. The body work uh, was done by a shop that only does classic car restoration. Um, it is all steel. There's no Bondo. We did use a donor body and some NOS panels we found in order to complete the body restoration. We'll look in the engine bay. Hopefully you can see with the lighting. Kelsey Hayes Spare. The car has um, uh, 1965 uh, to 66 180 horsepower turbo, uh, excuse me, 180 horsepower carburetor. The turbocharger was built by Ken Hand. It's made up of a 180 horsepower compressor and 150 horsepower turbine, uh, excuse me, um, yes, turbine side, and that is uh, for faster spool up. The car has 95 horsepower cylinder heads, uh, which reduces pinging and knocking, actually almost completely eliminates it on modern fuel. And I'm running a safeguard ignition system, which will control the timing based on inputs from a knock sensor uh, to prevent detonation under turbo boost. Um, I've installed a, some custom lines with a fuel pressure regulator and fuel pressure gauge, keeping the pressure at two to three PSI, which is what these cars like. Every piece and part of this has been restored uh, rebuilt. It's basically brand new. Uh, the interior here you can see uh, the seats are redone. Covers were from Clark's Corvair. Let me go to the other side. The light's probably better. Uh, covers, like I said, were from Clark's Corvair. Uh, the gauge and dash panels were uh, restored by Bob Speedometer in Michigan and the car has an original wood wheel which was a factory accessory. Um, cup holder from Clark's and we'll go around to the front trunk area here oh, got to get past that catch there we go alright so you can see the front trunk area here restored with original splatter paint uh, the car has an, the original uh, dual, or excuse me, an upgraded dual master cylinder for safety. Um, original lead hammer, which goes with the wire wheels. I've never used it on the wire wheels, but it's there for originality. The car was a factory positive traction car, and it's restored with that, with new uh, positive traction clutch packs, um, jacking instructions that are special to the Kelsey Hayes wheels, and the original uh, washer fluid bottle. So we're going to close that. You can see how that closes nicely. Beautiful. All right, let's go over here. And you can see the doors. Everything's nice and clean, restored beautifully. No Bondo, all steel. Beautiful work by my body shop. I'll show you how the doors close. And we'll go back around and we'll look at the other door. And same thing, you can see the door jams. Absolutely gorgeous. And door close. Nice and nice and easy. Let's see how easy we can do it. There you go. Beautiful alignment. Uh, the uh, trim pieces were all sourced as NOS. Actually, I found them in the original packaging. The bumpers are re-chromed from uh, California Corvairs. And uh, front panel is NOS, as were the um, headlight surrounds. The car has LED lighting 
in it. Not I did uh, LED lights everywhere except for the dash lights. I mean, inside the gauges, never uh, took the time to do that, but you certainly could. The car has a new top. It is a power top car. It has new rams and a new uh, uh, hydraulic pump. Those are both reproduction items as well as new lines and the top actuates very nicely. You can see the button here. You can see those beautiful gauges up close. I'll post another video later that shows the uh, actuation of the power top. Um, the handbrake here, as in all Corvairs, this is a handbrake uh, flasher light that reminds you it's on. That was actually a factory or a dealer installed accessory. The radio uh, is a restored radio with um, uh, done by Fred Bybee, Fred's Classic Radios. It does work. Um, I don't use it. I generally just use a Bluetooth speaker. One thing worth noting when I restored the car, I had the body shop remove the uh, spot for the antenna. Um, the antenna normally in this car would go right about here. Um, I had them take that out just because I wanted to be able to put the car cover on it easily. Um, you could certainly drill the hole and put it back. You can find NOS kits all over the place. I just stuck the uh, antenna up underneath the dash. <clears throat> kind of walk around again here. And then I'll make another video with the underside of the car and a lift in my garage later. It's a straight car. This car won first place, best in show, in its class at the Tri-State Corvair Meet last June. Thanks for watching.